So in this particular video, I uh, assemble a nice case for a Raspberry Pi, all metal, aluminum. It's for a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, basically, it has four pieces, um, top part and the bottom part, and a couple side hatches that has some uh, engravings, so you can have all different exit ports for the Raspberry Pi. They have include some screws and include some nice... Um, heat sink and fan cooling on the bottom part um, you have a particular um, kind of screw to hold in the, the main place in, plate in place so just align for your USB ports and your audio ports um, you have a screw to safety in place um, so once you secure the board, the board is um, actually quite uh, fastened so you can uh, now take the 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 side parts uh, takes a little bit of a work to to put in you have uh, to do some alignment and you have two bottom screws that you want to align um, and secure in place so on this side you have the openings for your gigabit port and your USB ports uh, which by now are four so it's uh, quite nice and the Raspberry Pi 4 and the opposite side you have um, a nice plate with an opening for your SD card so you can change your SD card um, with the case on which is also nice but um, I found a bit tricky so you can have your SD card sliding in and you might need to open the case again so watch out for that um, now you have some thermal paste that you might want to cut to keep your Raspberry Pi from overcooling. This one is very powerful, it has four cores. So it's actually um, quite interesting. Once you get to 80 degrees, um, you can have some throttling. So you wanna make the most out of the performance. You wanna have some, some either passive heatsink or some uh, active heatsink. I went for this uh, case that had some um, nice fans. So you can just put your thermal paste, put it on top of your main board. And you have on the GPIO pins port uh, three and uh, two and three that are five volts. Just um, get some schematic, connect it on the five uh, volt, um, put in the top lid, screw it in place. You have four nice screws to secure it. The construction is very nice, very sturdy, aluminum. Um, great for projects like a home server or if you want to keep it in a, in a shed or um, want to keep um, your Raspberry Pi and plan it to use it for some radio projects so this this uh, particular case um, has a very sturdy construction it's come a really long way since the um, first versions of um, flimsy plastic cases for Raspberry Pis and uh, the previous version so I strongly encourage people to look at this one um, I uh, really liked it. It's uh, relatively easy to assemble. It gives a very sturdy feeling for your Raspberry Pi. A very nice clean look. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it.